All right, guys, just a quick update on Big Moby 2. I told you guys before, he was kind of skittish when I bought him. He wasn't like my original Big Moby. He grew to about five and a half inches. He was still skittish. The reason why you don't see videos of me feeding him, because it's hard to feed him even in front of you. You gotta stand to the side of the tank and forget about trying to film me and it was like impossible and then he would get spooked and slam into all the glass he wasn't nothing like my original big moby so i said that it i promised myself i'm not gonna keep a fish that i'm not gonna enjoy so brought him back to the guy i got him from and he gave me a credit actually a little more than i paid for him which was okay with me but he had in there, in the store, an Ixingu Black Piranha. I've been looking to get one of these for like 10 years. But they were so expensive, the cheapest I could find them for was like maybe $450 for like, uh, I'm going to say about maybe four and a half, five inches long. Well, he had this little guy, and he, I just put him in literally like, I'm gonna say two minutes ago he's probably about three three and a half inches long and I got him actually a really good price on him so I said heck with it I'm gonna try a black I never really tried a black piranha before my brother had him the a regular uh, rhombus the Peruvian one that said he didn't like him but this was like 25 years ago so I was talking to the guy in the store, he says he thinks I'm going to like it, it will take a while to get used to it, we'll see. I know it's not going to eat pellets like my other piranhas do, they don't do that, or at least I don't think they do, but I'll give it a try. But uh, I definitely have like uh, salmon and fillets and stuff and shrimp, so he could do good on that, maybe I'll add vitamins to it, we'll see. But. I'm happy I got them. I don't know if you guys could even see me go sideways because it's hard. There he is. He's thin. I guess it's, you know, it is wild caught. It's, he's thin. Driving and shipping. Coming overseas. So he's like stressed out and skinny. I'll fatten him up. You guys know that. But I just wanted to share it with you to know more Big Moby too. You know, you get the fish and you expect it to be like your original one. It's kind of like having a dog, a certain purebred. I used to breed boxers and be like getting a boxer and expecting when he passes away to get another one. You try to get him with the markings the same and everything, but guess what? They never act like the one you had and they'll never replace it. And that's what happened with Big Moby too. I wasn't happy with him. So move down here's the new one it's gonna be a weird shot because i'm on a 45 degree angle because he's up against the side glass but like i said guys that's the update hope you guys like him as much as i do who knows he may not eat in front of the camera if he doesn't it's fine with me the only other thing about these guys they say they grow real slow so He's in a 40 breeder. It's probably good for him for years. But anyway, hope you guys like him. Appreciate everybody watching. Oh, wait, before I go, you're going to laugh. See the light in here? It used to be two of them. It was bright. And I said, let me try something. You know me. Oh, he's doing contraptions. I don't know if you could see this. I had, I think it's 10 ohms, an L pad, one of these things, let me get it. These guys probably seen these before. It doesn't have the knob on it, but it's an L pad like you would use in a speaker. I put it on there, well it's dangling because I just put it there to uh, lower the uh, output of the electric going to that light so I could dim it down to a little bit dimmer than this and all the way back to where it is which I think was too bright because the rocks still look overexposed but I think I want to get darker rocks in here so we'll see anyway guys thanks for watching